said the squid and the search for the perfect job by david g derrick jr in this wide and wonderful world there is a job for everyone or at least that's what sid believed sid was a giant squid who lived in the dark depths of the ocean he had ten useful arms more than a turtle a sea spider or even his cousin the octopus sid wanted to find the perfect job but didn't know where to look. Sid heard from a shoal of fish that the big city was the best place for someone to find a job. So Sid decided to see for himself. Sid was a squid out of water and didn't know the first thing about finding a job in a big city. Luckily, he met a girl named Alice. Alice lived in the city and volunteered to help him. I know lots of people with different jobs that could use someone handy like you. First, Alice took Sid to meet Officer Mitchell. Impressed by all of Sid's arms, the policewoman said, Why don't you try directing traffic? It seems like a perfect job for someone like you. Quickly, Sid got the hang of guiding cars, trucks, buses, and people across the busy intersection. For a while, it seemed like Officer Mitchell was right. Directing traffic was the perfect job for Sid. But it wasn't. Alice had another idea. She took Sid to see Chief Stevenson at the fire station. Sizing up the squid's long and flexible arm, the chief said, you would make an excellent firefighter. So Sid became the town's first fire squid. Alice and the fireman thought this was a fantastic job for Sid, but he wasn't so sure. Squids need to have wet skin to be happy. Fighting fires was too hot and dry. So Sid and Alice kept looking. While Sid cooled off in the calm waters by the wharf, Alice saw a restaurant and said, Aha, Sid, you could be a terrific cook. Chef Umberto agreed. Sid was amazing. He could dice carrots, simmer a white sauce, saute onions, bake lasagna, and cook pizzas all at once. Even Sid thought cooking in the kitchen was the job for him. That is, until someone ordered seafood. Sid and Alice left the restaurant, but not before releasing all of his new friends into the water. Finding the perfect job can be tough, so Alice took Sid to the library. There, Miss Beckstrand, the librarian, helped them. Searching in books, magazines, newspapers, and online, Sid and Alice found lots of new careers he could try. Sid auditioned as an actor. He was in luck. The director wanted to cast Sid in a big movie, but when Sid read the script, he had second thoughts about the role. Sid did not want to act like a monster. Next, Sid climbed a tall building to wash windows. Unfortunately, his suction cups made them even dirtier. Sid walked dogs. Walking dogs was definitely not the right job. Sid was a one-squid pit crew. Ouch! Sid even tried working for the electric company. Zap! No matter how hard they tried, they couldn't find Sid the right job. He thought perhaps it was time to quit the big city and go back home. Splash! Sid and Alice jumped up when they heard the noise. In the distance, they saw an enormous whale struggling in a net. He needed help. Instantly, Sid swam like a torpedo out to sea. Working quickly, Sid used all of his arms to untangle and free the whale. The whale thanked Sid by jumping out of the water. Sid, you were wonderful, Alice shouted from the nearby boat. These people are animal rescuers who work at the aquarium. Sid had never heard of such a place before. So Alice took him there. Sid, continued Alice with a big smile, 
I think I found the perfect job for you. And she did. The aquarium was a wonderful place for someone with ten arms. He could help his aquatic friends, great and small, and teach everyone about his marvelous home, the ocean. So whether you have ten arms, like Sid, or only two, there is a perfect job out there for everyone. You just have to find it. The end.